we fall into one category either. I mean, there's a little pop, uh, R&B, jazz, and a whole lot of soul. You can pretty much take your pick. So glad to have in the studio the one and only guitarist and vocalist Raul Midon. Welcome to the airwaves of WEAA. More so, we welcome you to Champ City for sure. Yeah, it's uh, I've, I've been performing a lot, a lot all over the world, and I just have never played here, so it'll be fun. Well, welcome to Charm City, brother. So this journey with your guitar, where did it begin, and, and when did it begin? Um, I was about six years old when I started taking lessons, and uh, basically I had lessons with uh, flamenco guitarist. Uh, my my father owned a restaurant that had. Um, the guitarist in the show I would take lessons from. So it was all um, sort of flamenco technique and, mm -hmm. you know, scales. And, like, we weren't learning songs. Like, you know, the people today, you know, they see a song on YouTube and they learn the song. It, was, it wasn't like that, you know, when I started. It was all about learning techniques and ways to get up and down the guitar and, you know, right-hand techniques and arpeggios and all that sort of thing. Studio with guitarist Raul Madan, who will be uh, performing this Thursday at the Baltimore Soundstage at 7.30 p.m. Uh, so over 10 years in the game, a couple of CDs out there. What would you say is your biggest challenge now as a songwriter, Raul? I think just getting better. I mean, I think, you know, the the game is, is just to stay in it and uh, to get better. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I have the, the great pleasure of just being able to collaborate with, you know, amazing musicians. I mean, you know, I, I, I worked with Stevie Wonder, I worked with Herbie Hancock, I worked with Marcus Miller. Mm -hmm. um, I'm working with Liz Wright currently. Uh, we're doing a whole tour this summer and hopefully a record. And um, also uh, worked a lot with Richard Bona last year. So, you know, I'm, I'm uh, very much... Um, honored you know to be in the middle of this of this thing you know so well, let's go ahead and talk about uh, your, your music i always tell folks this and i hope you don't mind me saying but i always tell folks that the best way to experience raul madon is in a live setting um i just don't feel the cds truly show you justice no. we're in between shows simply red had just finished and i went over to the b stage smaller stage you were on stage it was probably about 30 people out there initially but by the time you finished, there were a good 2,000 people out there watching you, screaming, hollering, and everyone was in awe from, uh, from what you did out there. And it's just simply amazing, man, the way folks uh, soak you up in a live setting. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 you know, that, that's great and everything. I'm, I'm, um, the irony of it is that I love to record. Mm -hmm. So um, now I'm hoping that, that, that at some point there'll be a record that people love as well. I have a, a recording studio in my house now, so I get to record every day, pretty gotcha. much, or every day that I'm home, anyway. State of Mind is uh, truly one of my favorite tunes of yours, uh, highly played. Ain't a little side of love to shine, it's bright enough to last a long time. I'll be rich, more than a fantasy, by the winds and climb, cause it's all a state of mind. Because it's all 
You know, it started out as peace of mind, and then it, it turned into state of mind, and uh, yeah, it, it, it really kind of, um, it's still a song that everybody knows all over the world when I play it. I mean, if I can be in, you know, I can be in, in Mumbai or, you know, uh, Seoul or anywhere, and I play that, and people know, know it. Other subjects, love, war, and justice. Yeah, right. Break down your songwriting process for us kind of a philosopher so there's that aspect of it um, I wrote a song called All the Answers you know uh, my body starts shaking you know waited all my yeah. life you know just straight up kind of almost like an R&B love song up there Larry Klein who produced Joni Mitchell then yeah. uh, the late Aviv who yeah. uh, worked with Aretha Franklin and yeah. Shanka Khan uh, how much of of the intricate <coughs> process uh, or part of the process have your producers been to your sound um, well, the reef was 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 pivotal, I have to say, because the reef was actually the first one. I was a studio musician before I moved to New York and sort of struck out on my own for for, for real. Um, and I did a lot of background vocal work with all kinds of artists, just hundreds and hundreds of records, singing backgrounds and doing commercials and stuff. And and I had this way of playing guitar. And and any time I would ever do a demo in the studio, people would sort of say, "Yeah, that's cool, but." It's not what's on the radio, and so you know, and they would water it down, you know, sort of this. And Arif was the first one to say, "Oh my God, this is what we have to record." And Raul Midan is coming up at the Baltimore Soundstage this Thursday night. Uh, tickets are available at baltimoresoundstage.com. But I'm also going to take callers number eight and nine right now at four ten. 319-8888 again 410 319-8888 to check out Raul Midan uh, Thursday night at the Baltimore Sound Stage you cannot have won anything from WEAA in the last 30 days Raul we want to thank you for sharing some time with us today brother Baltimore show well Baltimore is definitely going to be there in droves as we uh, go out can you play one more tune for us how about uh, Save My Love is going to save Raul Midon, and you're in the groove with the bass man on WEAA-FM.